Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this B&W GM Multi-Pro Tailgate Compatible Tow and Stow 3-Ball Mount for a 2-inch hitch with a 10,000 pound weight capacity. Now this ball mount with these built-in hitch balls will let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle. The shank portion of this will slide into a 2-inch hitch receiver like we're demonstrating here. And the hitch balls is what will provide the connection points for your trailer coupler. If you notice, this one's a tri-ball design. It has three different size hitch balls that will let you tow trailers with different coupler sizes. The smallest one is a 1 and 7 8 inch diameter. You can go to a 2-inch or the larger is a 2 and 5 16 And it's very easy to switch to get the correct ball size. Let me just zoom in here and we'll show you. <coughs> you have this one pin here, you pull the clip out, and then you slide that pin out, and then when you do that, if you notice, you'll be able to just rotate the ball. It stays attached and then you just swing it to whatever size you need. So if you want to go to a two inch size, just put it up that way, that'll give you your two inch ball. One thing you do want to remember, there's two different hitch pin holes, so when you switch it to the two inch size, you'll put the pin in the front hole. When you go to the one and seven eighths inch, it'll be the back hole. And if you go to the larger two and five sixteenths, you go back to the front hole. So depending which one you check or choose, you just put it in the correct hole. And once you get it in the hole, go ahead and put your clip back in, push it down, and you're all ready to go. So it's very simple to switch to whatever correct ball size you need. This does also offer the adjustable height that'll let you tow trailers of different heights with the same vehicle. It'll give you a maximum drop of two and a half inches, maximum rise of three and a half inches. And the way you do that is with the two pins right here. You just take the clips out, take the pins out, and then you can slide this whole ball mount up or down along the shank and then secure it in whatever position you need with those pins and clips, and it'll get you the correct height you need. Now the other main feature on this, the nice part of it, is it's the, you can stow this whole ball and the mounting platform on this tribe ball mount beneath your hitch for a nice sleek look, but also to keep it from anybody banging their knees or shins into it so it'll swing out of the way. And the way you do that, again, is you pull out the clips, both clips like that. You pull out the top bolt. Now when you go to pull out the bottom bolt, you want to be aware that even though this is connected to the shank, it is heavy, so it will drop down. So you'll see when I let it go, it sort of drops down, but it'll hold most of the weight. And then you can just swing it back up under and then lift it back up. Take your pin, find the correct height you need, put your pin back through, take your second one, insert it all the way through and then clip it. And then just like that, you notice it's all flush up here and it's up under the vehicle. Very nice feature. Now we did mention this one is a uh, compatible with the GM Multi-Pro tailgate. And the reason we mention that is because on those vehicles, if you have a ball mount usually in your hitch, that tailgate will get damaged because when it goes to flip down, it'll hit the ball mount. This one is specifically designed. And the way, the way they do it is if you notice right here, they have this machine cutout area. It goes back about another inch into there. And that along with the angle design here, well, the swing arm will allow that extra clearance to go back, so you're gaining another extra inch of clearance. Once you do that and then pin it in place, then your tailgate can come down and not interfere with it. <clears throat> now, the thing I do want to mention, it is important, this shank that inserts into your hitch receiver will have two, ball or two hitch pin holes on it. What you'll want to do is if you're going to use it on the GM Multi-Pro, you want to use that front hole when you pin it. That'll pull it back enough. You don't want to use the second hole because that'll still leave it out some. Push it all the way into that first hole, put your pin and clip in, and then it's all safe to use. Very nice feature to work with that multi-pro tailgate. <clears throat> now this does also offer an anti-theft design for the ball mount platform, meaning this can't be removed. In other words, you just can't take these pins and clips out and remove it from the uh, shank itself. It basically, once you have this Install this whole tow and stow ball mount installed in your hitch and locked into place here or pinned into place. They cannot take this ball mount because they have to take that out and slide the ball mount off to get it off. So once it's installed in here, I do recommend you might want to put a hitch lock in here and then no, there's no way they can get that ball mount off. So what I'm going to do is show you how you swing it back in when you're ready to tow. Let's just lift up on this, pull our one pin out, pull our other pin out. Drop it down, swing it to the front, rotate it back up, 
take your pin, line it up with the hole, slide it all the way through. I did want to mention these pins are stainless steel, so they nice, they're a nice, sturdy, rust-resistant connection. Put the other one back through. Go ahead and clip it. Go ahead and clip the second one. And just like that, you're all ready to go. <clears throat> now this is a, on the balls, they do use a dual process chrome plating to provide excellent rust resistance. They do use a black powder coating on the whole ball mount and the shank, which makes it corrosion resistant. We mentioned the pins themselves are stainless steel. And it is a durable steel construction with the high yield tubing to offer superior strength. Now we did mention when you install this into your hitch receiver, it will require a 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock, which I do recommend. Those items we do sell separately on our website. If you happen to have one with a 5 8 inch diameter, you can use the one you have. This part is made in the USA. Specs again, the application is for two inch by two inch trailer hitch receivers. The towing weight capacity you'll get with this is 10,000 pounds and the tongue weight capacity is 1,000 pounds. But that should do it for the review on this B&W GM Multi-Pro tailgate compatible tow and stow three ball mount for a two inch hitch with a 10,000 pound weight capacity.